Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Beach Club Resort and we are going to be dining at Cape May Cafe. They recently brought back their full buffet and I heard that some things have changed so I wanted to come out and try it and also just enjoy the beautiful resort and maybe head over to Epcot because it's only a two minute walk from here and have a wonderful Epcot kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Cape May Cafe is a New England style eatery that's pretty well known for their seafood and it's located right here at the Beach Club Resort and Disney's starting to bring back their buffets to their restaurants. We've already seen Crystal Palace come back in Boma and now this is the third buffet to be back at Walt Disney World and they've been taking the opportunity to change things up a little bit so like I said I'm excited to see what's new. And as I said in the beginning, after we get done with dinner, we can just walk over to Epcot's World Showcase because it's, it's literally like a two minute walk. Beach Club Resort, I think, is the closest resort to any of the theme parks. Even Magic Kingdom in the Contemporary or the Grand Floridian, it is such a quick walk. And that's why it's so amazing to stay here because you have quick access to Epcot and it'll come in handy at the nights where it's super busy and hard to get out. It's also fun just to come out and hang out at the beach club. So as long as you make dining reservations, you can visit the beach club and you can park here. And it is such a beautiful resort. I love staying here. I stayed here with my mom and sister before and they loved it. It's just so beachy and so like beautiful. Look at that. I love the smell of the beach club resort. It is so amazing. And they even have a candle where you can buy like the smell. I feel like they should have a candle for every resort. Recently, Disney switched over their face mask policy, so fully vaccinated guests have the option to wear a mask. And I kind of always forget, like, I, I'm supposed to be wearing one or not wearing one because I've gotten so used to it. And there are so many people here ready to go in. The restaurant opens at 5 and it's just like 10 minutes away and there's literally a line of people waiting to get in the Cape May Cafe. Here is a look at the menu that they're actually offering. The dinner buffet is from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And they got a carving station with roast beef. They have sustainable catch of the day, a classic seafood boil. They have some classic favorites for children, like probably chicken nuggets and pizzas, and then also desserts. And I think the price is $42. I'll have to check to make sure and also give you a kid's price once we get in there. We have made it to our table, and you guys might have noticed that the menu has changed a little bit uh, from the menu that we showed you out front there. They no longer offer the all you care to enjoy crab legs. In the past, they used to do it, and they used to charge, I think it was $55 for the adult buffet. Now it is $42, and if you want the crab legs, it's $29 additionally, and you get a pound or three clusters. So you pay $42 plus $29, and that's how you get the buffet with the uh, pound of crab legs. You can also get a whole lobster for an additional $42. So for $84, you can have a whole dinner buffet and a whole lobster. And I don't know, we'll have to see if the buffet is good enough on its own, or maybe we might get some crab legs and lobster. Here is the buffet itself. We're gonna go look around and see all the items they have to offer. I mean, there's a lot of fish on here, but they do have other things. They have, uh, it looks like some sirloin up there. They've got some soup. They've got like, like I said, corn and kids menu items. So if you don't like seafood, there are other offerings that you can enjoy here. I am not the biggest seafood fan. I mean, I like lobster, crab legs, and shrimp, and certain types of fish, but I'm gonna try as much as I can just because I wanna, you know, try new things, you know what I mean? And uh, this place is probably the best place on Disney property for seafood, so might as well. We will start right here and then make our way around the buffet with the beef strip loin. They have a creamy onion jam and a house-made chimichurri sauce. We'll have to come up and make a plate later on. And then I can see a bunch of peel and eat shrimp, some mussels, and some clams. And we'll take a look-see over here. Looks like we got some seasoned vegetables, pasta of the day, plant-based tofu. We've got fried clam strips right here. We've got uh, fried Pollock nuggets. These look really, really good, actually. I can't wait to try the Pollock Nuggets. Fried shrimp, sustainable fish. There's a lot of good offerings. We'll make ourselves a plate in a second. Here is a little bit of the cold bar. They have Caesar salad, seafood pasta, tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, marinated olives. 
Then we've got some fruit. We got some pineapple chunks, a chipotle ranch green salad, an ambrosia salad, ambrosia, and then another seasonal salad right there. I can't wait. I might want to try some ambrosia actually later on. Anytime I hear ambrosia, I think of the labyrinth. You guys ever see the movie Labyrinth, Ambrosia? I think it's so funny. Here are the mussels, the clams, and then the peel and eat shrimp. So they, they do give you a lot of offerings, so you could probably get away with just getting the buffet, unless you love crab legs. <laughs> you love crab legs, you gotta get the crab legs. They actually cook most of the seafood right back here. Look at them load up the shrimp right there, and they're gonna put it in the steamer. How awesome is that? So you're getting like fresh, fresh. They also have some mashed potatoes. They have a roasted lemon pepper chicken, corn on the cob. Ooh, some red blessed potatoes because you know, you gotta have those. I, I can't wait to come up and get some of the potatoes. And then uh, all the other good items over here. I think we're gonna start off with getting some of the chicken and seafood paella. I'm gonna grab a little scoop right here. Ooh, perfect. Got to make sure you get the shrimp in there. And then also we're going to take some fried shrimp right here. Oh, the fried shrimp looks really good actually. Yes, I like that a lot. They also have uh, cornbread and Parker House rolls. A whole bunch of different spreads like cheese and uh, garlic butter. And then of course for the kiddos, we've got pizza. We've got pasta, turkey bolognese. And then we've got some chicken drumsticks over here. Try to show you guys chicken drumsticks, broccoli, and oh, mac and cheese. Look at that. Fancy. The buffet can get a little bit busy up there. So I decided I wanted to grab a little bit of everything. And we're probably gonna have to make multiple trips because all I wanna do is like try a little bit of each so I know what it tastes like. And they also have some uh, soup that I've been told is really, really good clam chowder. So we're gonna try the soup and then a couple of other items after we finish this one right here. I feel like I should order crab legs or, or lobster just so I can show you guys. But honestly, the buffet itself is big enough that you probably don't need it unless you want it. You know what I mean? If you love uh, lobster or crab legs, then it's, it's something you have to get. But look at this. There's still a lot of items up there that I haven't tried yet and aren't on this plate. First things first, we're gonna try the fried shrimp because I love fried shrimp. And this is a really, really nice batter that they have on it. It's not hard and it's kind of flaky and I like it. It's very light and uh, here we go. Wow. That is some amazing fried shrimp. I love it. And also you have the sirloin with the chimichurra. We've got the paella. We've got the fried uh, grouper nuggets, the peel and eat shrimp, clams, mussels, mashed potatoes, the seasonal pasta right there. So we have a lot of food. Oh, also the lemon chicken, because that looks really, really good. Nicely seasoned as well. I think I want to try the chicken next, you know? It looks good, it looks so like nicely seasoned, like I said. Mm. Wow. So I'm gonna throw my chicken, my chicken bone in there, my chicken bone in the bucket. I did put in for an order of the crab legs because I wanna be able to show you guys. So we're gonna try the mashed potatoes now. They got nice little creamy mashed potatoes. Oh wow. Okay, the mashed potatoes are really good. Hmm. Now we're gonna dive into the clams. There we go. There we go. Bada bing. Gonna give the clams a go. Now we're gonna dive into the paella here. Get a nice little section here. I think I wanna get some with the uh, shrimp in it and also chicken. Here we go, paella. <laughs> That's good. Everything's been really amazing so far. I want to try this sirloin though in that house-made chimichurri sauce right here. What am I gonna do with two forks? Look at this. 
I want to go cut it. <laughs> so we have to cut down right here. There we go. She gave me a lot of sirloin. I was just like a little bit here and she gave me like three whole cuts there. I forgot to take my hat off, but here is the uh, strip loin with the chimichurri on it. And uh, did I say chimichurri? Chimichurri. Chimichurri. <laughs> Anywho, here we go. Mm. The strip loin is really good, and I do like the sauce. Maybe next time I go up there, we'll try the onion jam. Now we're gonna try the little fish nuggets. Little fish nuggets. <laughs> I'm not too sure how much I'm gonna like this. I mean, I like fish and chips. If you guys have been watching the channel uh, for a while, you know I just had fish and chips for like the first time in the past year and a half. And uh, I liked it then, like I got them at the Rose and Crown and a couple of other places. So, we're gonna try it here. I like that, that's good. There was a lot of good things we tried on that first plate. Now we're gonna try a couple of the things we haven't tried yet. And I don't know, I'm kind of torn because I ordered the crab legs, but like I said, I don't think I need them. Like there is so much here. They have a nice vegetable soup right here. This looks really good. And then they also have a clam chowder. And that's what we're gonna try is some of the chowder. Give it a little go. Oh wow, there's a lot in there, holy moly. Trying to do it so delicately. Now we got some of the other items and some soup. And also I wanted to grab the pizza from the kids uh, section there. Looks like it's an okay pizza. I mean, it's not like the best pizza probably, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's kind of falling apart. Oh wait, unless it's cut like, oh, it is cut like that. They cut it in little tiny baby pizzas. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it's not like horrible. It's just like, like, you know, five dollar pizza or like dollar slice pizza or maybe fifty cent slice pizza. I think that's better. And <laughs> I mean, it's not Via Napoli. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And here is the soup, and you get so much inside there. Look at all the clams. Holy moly! So let's do the clam chowder here. Wow, that packs a lot of flavor. And like I said, there's a lot of clam in there. This is a really, really good clam chowder. I'm like kind of like, holy moly. Very good, top notch. Top notch chowder. <laughs> and speak of the crab legs, here they are. $29.99 for these bad boys right here. What do you guys think? I mean, there's, there's, there's a good lot in there. I mean, it's, it, there's a lot, you know. I don't know how many uh, crab legs somebody can eat. I can't eat all those. I just wanted to get it to show you guys. And then you got your butter right there. And uh, we might as well dive in. So this meal is gonna cost me 50, 60, 70. So just around like $75. $75. Now it's the crabbing business here. Oh boy. Oh, look at this piece. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's the way. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> A big forkful of crab and butter for $22.99. Even though, like, if you take away the all you can eat factor, uh, it's like a $10 difference. Like if you go by what the old price of the full buffet and now adding the $22 on, it's only about like a 10 to $12 difference. I still think Disney should be able to offer these on the buffet without an upcharge. Just my opinion. You know what I mean? I can see the lobster. Lobster I understand completely, but crab legs, they could, they could easily be put back on the buffet and probably still charged around $42, $50. After trying a couple of the things on the buffet, I have to say a couple of my favorite items would be the clam chowder, which was amazing. The peel and eat shrimp, which I went up and got some more peel and eat shrimp. I like the, I like the uh, crab legs, but $29 additionally you had to pay for them, so it doesn't make it like stand out. Uh, the paella was really good. The uh, sirloin, it's not the best, 
but like I said, this is a big seafood restaurant. And overall, I think I liked everything here. Like it was, it was really good food, very fresh, very hot. And I like how you can get large quantities, you know what I mean? I know there's people out there that could just go to town and peeling and eating clams. Like you could definitely get full off of $42. And at $42, I think it makes it the cheapest buffet on Disney property at the moment right now or in the past without like price adjustment you know what i mean enough of the shrimp in business though we gotta go check out the desserts so we're gonna head up there now here is a look at the dessert offerings they've got some hot bread pudding with vanilla sauce it looks like they have gluten-free chocolate mickey domes and then a strawberry layer cake and then signature oreo bonbons you're gonna have to try some of those a 50th anniversary Boston cream tart. Oh, that looks good. Lemon card and a chocolate uh, cake over here. Oh, and then they also have vanilla cupcake and some cookies. So there's a lot of good desserts. When it comes to buffets, you kind of do it the line through. So I stand in line and I show you guys on camera first, and then I get back in line and go around so I can get a plate full. And it's so funny because people just see me go in a big circle. But now let's grab some of this bread pudding. And of course we gotta get the vanilla sauce. Look at this. Ooh, this actually looks really good. I mean, I don't know what it'd be compared to like Ohana bread pudding, but look at, oh, look at that. That's what we needed. And then we're gonna try a little bit of everything. Gotta try the uh, Mickey Dome cakes. That's an essential. And the strawberry cakes right here. Just when you thought I was done, I came back for some more. Look at these desserts. I'm impressed by the dessert game here. And I gotta tell you guys about a kind of magic moment that happened to me a long time ago. A long time ago, before I ever started making videos on YouTube, I was walking through a uh, beach club here. We came on vacation and I was just going around like touring the resorts and we walked past Cape May Cafe. Now I've never even heard of this place at that point and they just shut down for the night and the cast members out front were like hey do you want to come and finish off some of the desserts because it was the end of the night they were closing down and they would throw it all away they invited us in free to come and eat the desserts and i remember i was just like wow this really makes disney stand out and i remember it was such a cool experience but huge magic moment and huge uh kind of like ripple uh, effect in how i look at disney as a whole like i will never forget that let's dive into the bread pudding though i do love vanilla sauce look at that not on ohana level but very very good it, it's more of a crumble like on the top this is i like it though a lot now let's try a little bit of the other ones like the strawberry layered cake and this one has vanilla sauce on the bottom there look at that so it's like a, a strawberry vanilla layered cake here oh wow oh lordy i think that stole the show right here I'm soaking it all up with the vanilla sauce. Vanilla sauce on the strawberry cake. Oh man. I have decided now that everything should have vanilla sauce on it. <laughs> We're diving in to the 50th anniversary treat and that's getting the vanilla sauce as well. There we go. And now it's time for the bonbon. I like this. Bon Bon will like it. Kind of looks like an Oreo zebra dome, kind of. So far, the dessert game is on point here. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at the check, and it came to $68.05 with my annual pass discount, and that's getting the $29 crab legs along with the adult dinner buffet. So, I mean, $68.00. And if you go to Crystal Palace, I believe it's $55. So, I mean, it's tough, you know what I mean? It, it, if you're a big fan, like I said, of the crab legs, uh, you're gonna probably wanna get them. And I do think Disney should just put them back on the buffet. 
now we're all finished up and I want to give you a, basically a recap because I know I was talking about it as I was eating it but uh, the buffet on its own is good enough there's so much food on there so like even though you're missing the crab legs you are saving money without them like just getting the regular cheaper buffet the uh, peel and eat shrimp was huge some of the best peel and eat shrimp I think I've ever had the paella was phenomenal and they do have good offerings for people that don't like seafood as well but it's not like the best uh, the kids menu could have used a little work no chicken nuggies and nothing like that I mean they had like uh, roasted chicken legs but it's not really kids food you know what I mean the pizza was like blah but uh, very good great service great staff in there the cast members are amazing and I loved it. I, I really think Disney should be able to put those crab legs back on the buffet though. Like I feel like that's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like crab legs, it's crab legs. Now we're gonna make our way over to Epcot. We're gonna hang out for a little bit and it's dark outside already. Probably see Harmonious and also probably run into a friend, a friend from out of town. Look at how beautiful it is out. I love it. I love coming to the beach club or the boardwalk Epcot resort area. It just gets me every time because it's just so nice out. Get to hang out on the beach, look at all the pretty lights. But we're going to walk right over to Epcot. Two minutes away, literally. You can power walk and get there in a minute or run and probably get there in 30 seconds. I am kind of realizing I probably like reek of seafood right now because you know we were peeling and eating shrimp we got crab legs mussels clams cod all that and uh, probably smells like I probably smell like uh, seafood so I think when we get an Epcot we'll go see if we can get one of the little cologne samples you know little cologne sample get all like fresh and smelling nice Oh look, here comes a Surrey bike. And I've done the Surrey bike here before. And when you come down here, it's a hill. So they're gonna take off if they don't uh, be careful. Like they're gonna come down fast. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> That's so fast when you come down that hill, isn't it? <laughs> Those Surrey bikes are so heavy. And it's a workout when you actually go around the resorts. It is like really challenging, but super fun. And now we have made it to Epcot. Look at that. One of the things I'd like to do tonight is ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. I feel like I don't ride that as often as I should. It's a brand new attraction here at Walt Disney World. And every time I come to Epcot, I kind of skip it because I'd rather try to do Soarin' or Frozen or Test Track. And it, Remy's is a great ride. It's a great uh, family-friendly ride. But the waits have been super long since it switched over to a standby line. And uh, I really just haven't put in the time. Put in the time to do Remy's. Normally I stop over to Norway and I get little samples of the essence of Norway that they have there, the garnis, because I really do like that cologne and I actually have some at home. But today I want to try the fragrances here in France and see if they actually give out little samples. Here is the newest cologne that they actually have and it's Sauvage. And look at this, I think it's actually $180 for this little bottle right here. So I'm only assuming one of the big bottles like this is probably like three, $400, you know what I mean? And they don't do samples of it. They just do it on the little tester strips here. So you can do a little tester, you know what I mean? Spray it on there. Spray it on there, ooh, it smells good, very strong. <laughs> they also do custom engraving on the back of the bottles too so you can actually get like a custom engraving done for your uh, fragrances and I like that it's kind of cool it adds a little special touch to it oh this one's nice little Paris on there and then that of course you've seen this one before it had uh, Disney and Cinderella Castle and a hidden Mickey I don't know how much these are though the cologne does smell amazing and usually I wear like Aqua de Gio uh, but this one is like a little pricey and they don't do annual pass holder discounts but also I love this store if you ever come in this store it's kind of the fork in the road between going to the uh, France Pavilion and Remy's Ratatouille Adventure come in and then take a look up here look at that up there look at all that space they got going on up there it's so pretty they could definitely add something up there, don't you think? Like a little lounge or something? 
now that we've eliminated our seafood smell, I think we're gonna actually go meet up with our friend. And honestly, this cologne is amazing. Like all I did was just like rub the tester on. Like I was like, you know, and I, it, it, I can smell it like so strong. I love it. This is like really good. I might want to get a bottle. Eventually I'll have to save up for it though because that is, that's really, really nice. Dare I say I might like it a little bit more than Garnice? I really think I do. I think I like it. I think it's Christian uh, Nior. I'm not too sure what the name of the fragrance is, but I like that one a little bit more than Garnice. Now it's time to head back to little Rem Rem and go on Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Like I said, it's something I've been waiting to do and uh, you know, today's the night. Or tonight's the night. Tonight is the night. Look at this. It's been a long time since we walked under these archways and now they actually have a wait sign right here. So you don't have to go all the way back to the attraction to find out. It's 110 minutes! <laughs> This is also going to be the first time I get to ride this ride without a mask on So I'm going to be able to smell the kitchen smells a little bit better because you know, I love the smelling of the ride Here we go We're gonna have to try to spot the Pizza Planet truck. Yeah. It's on the right. Okay. Where is it? Get on the moon. All right. Let's see if we can find that Pizza Planet truck. There it is. Look at that. Uh oh. Too simple. Clever. <laughs> A bunch of baloney up there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just got done with Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and like I said, I love that ride. It's a great family, like, fun ride, and I like that I was able to point out the Pizza Planet truck, and uh, now we're gonna go try to find a spot for Harmonious. We only got 30 minutes, though. My all-time favorite viewing spot for any Epcot fireworks is gonna be over here in the Rosen Crown, and they do serve, though know, they do have like a firework dining package, and I think it's $60 a person. It comes with a appetizer, an entree, a dessert, and then all you care to enjoy beer. So like, that is so worth it, uh, but you have to book it well in advance or you're not gonna get it, and it's got one of the best views, and we kinda got the same view right now, so I'm, I'm super pumped, look at that.
And with that, I think we are done here today. Wasn't that a great spot for Harmonious? I loved it. And uh, I had a great day. Cape May was amazing. I really loved the, all of the fried shrimp and the peel and eat shrimp. And then coming over to Epcot, getting to ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, getting a little bit of uh, some fancy fragrances, you know, and uh, just enjoying the day, hanging out with some friends from out of town. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.